we make movies, we make uh, collectibles, uh, but one of the coolest things that we've ever made uh, has been the warthog, uh, which you've just seen outside. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about that uh, tonight. Um, we were first asked back in 2007 to, to create some um, uh, weapons, costumes and the warthog for the Halo movie, which was um, uh, hoped to be made at that stage. Um, so about two years ago uh, we got a brief uh, from Microsoft and Bungie that um, we had to imitate the warthog out of the computer game. Uh, it needed to be a four-wheel drive uh, and it needed to be able to withstand a launch off a 20-foot bank. <laughs> we were given six weeks to make the warthog uh, in order to be ready for filming. So it was very much a, a, a quick job. Um, we started off in design stages, so we had to get the 3D models from the, the Bungie guys. They sent those down to uh, us in New Zealand. Uh, we then got our designers to take that initial concept and put that into a highly detailed 3D model, uh, which we did. We sent that back to the, the Bungie guys and they, they approved that. Um, so then we started the build. Um, we had a team of 20 people uh, working pretty much around the clock for six weeks. Uh, the team was led by a guy called Pete Osborne, and you can probably see him in some of the uh, pictures as they flash up uh, on the screen, uh, driving the warthog. Um, the warthog was built from scratch, um, so the only part of it that um, we were able to take was the, the engine, and that comes from a Nissan uh, patrol vehicle. Uh, the motor is a six-cylinder diesel automatic. Um, we had to configure it to be four-wheel drive, so the warthog is four-wheel drive, um, but it wasn't quite enough grunt for us, so we um, uh, yeah. added in the turbo, uh, <laughs> so that we got the, the extra sound and the extra grunt. Uh, we had to create a roll cage, and you can probably see that again in some of the pictures that are flicking up on the screen. Um, and you'll see pictures of Pete, who's a, an avid four-wheel drive expert, um, ripping around in the mud in New Zealand and testing it out before we put the, uh, the model on it. Um, the outer body uh, had to be made, so that was made by our model makers at Weta Workshop, um, who also work on all of our movies. Uh, that was constructed, um, made to look the, the warthog all nice and shiny and new, and then we had to do what we call wettifying it. Uh, in other words, we had to get a blowtorch, we had to get a chisel, we, we had to get a hammer, and then belt the shit out of it. So, uh, make it look as if it's really come from the game. It's normally the most fun part of what we do. We make everything new, and then we age it. So, um, when you get the chance to go and have a closer look at it outside, really look for those details, because that's something that Weber always takes pride in, is all the, the, the small details that you'll see. Uh, you might not see on a movie screen, but you'll see if it's close up. So did we pass the test? Um, well, when we first released pictures of the warthog on the internet, uh, a lot of people came in and said, no, it's fake, it's, it's, it's digital, you haven't actually built that. Um, so uh, about that time we got the bungee guys, the game developers actually came down to Wellington and test drove the warthog, and you may have seen some of the footage of them uh, belting into the side of a, of a warehouse. Um, and only then, once people had seen the video, did they believe that it was actually a true, um, a true vehicle. Uh, the suspension, uh, as you'll see out the front, we've got airbag suspension. Um, we've got three, uh, the warthog drives in three modes. You've got um, front wheel drive, front wheel steering, you've got four wheel drive, and then you've got something that we call crab mode, uh, which means that you can drive sideways or diagonally. Uh, now, unfortunately, it's, it's night time and we can't actually drive it there tonight, but um, uh, you will see video of it driving uh, sideways. It's quite freaky. So, um, unfortunately, we never got to make the Halo movie, um, but the warthog was made, it was all ready. Um, we did get to use it in the Halo movie shorts, you may have seen that uh, on YouTube, uh, and that is the warthog that was used uh, in those Halo movie shorts. Um, but at least we've got the opportunity to bring it over here to Australia today, so thanks to Microsoft for allowing us to bring it over. 
uh, and we hope you enjoy taking photographs and having a look at that. Uh, we also create other cool ships and uh, hopefully you can see on the screen some of the collectibles that we've um, recently launched. Um, they're also over in that glass cabinet over in the corner there. Um, and for us these are fine art collectibles. They take five to six weeks to sculpt. They're sculpted by the same artists that work on our movies and they're art directed by uh, our five-time Academy Award winning art director uh, Richard Taylor. So check those out as well. Finally, the display that you see out there with the warthog, that was designed by one of our uh, designers, uh, Greg Broadmore. Uh, Greg also was the lead designer of District 9, the movie coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, so you might see a common thread there. And it was built by Alex Faulkner, who may be in this room. There he is, the man with his hand up. So um, just a, 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 a quick bit of applause for Alex. So given 10 days to build that display, um, uh, so design, build and, and, and get it over to Sydney. So uh, we hope you like it and uh, we hope you like the, um, the cool shift that uh, we're to produce it. Thank you very much. Woo!